Thank you. Uh, we have all been playing our ukuleles for many years, uh, but uh, before that we had real jobs, real work to do. Uh, in fact, my mother still doesn't know that I play the ukulele for a living. <clears throat> I just can't bring myself to tell her that uh, I don't work in that gay bar anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had a job before the ukulele, and actually I worked at a university, the University of Heidelberg. Oh, yes, oh, yes, in the art department, <clears throat> Kunst, yes. I was a cleaner in the art department <laughs> at the University of Heidelberg. No, it's a brilliant, brilliant job. And I learned the most important question of aesthetics. <clears throat> is this art? Or is it rubbish? <laughs> it's a very, very important question for anybody. Particularly an important question if you're a cleaner at the University of Heidelberg in the art department. <laughs> is it rubbish? Okay. My, uh, when I was at the university, I did a course in comedy. My tutor said, don't tell jokes, George, because if you do, it'll all go wrong. It'll sound as though the wind is blowing the tumbleweeds down the street in the Mexican village. I can almost hear the tumbleweeds now. And at the end of the street, and Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood is over there on the bluff, looking down into the gulch, and here is the saloon, and at the end of the street, the church tower towers up, and the wind is activating the bell. At the top. The bells ding dong. And already the creatures of the night are abroad. <laughs> it was a cool, moonlit night in old Heidelberg. I walked alone between those old adobe haciendas when suddenly I heard the plaintive cry of a young Mexican girl. Hey, Zusa, 